everybody welcome welcome so my name is Ruth I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator and uh, apologies for the top knot hairdo because uh, yeah it's just too hot to have my hair down today so it, it's up it is well and truly up uh, we're having a little bit of a mini heat wave here in mid Wales not sure how long it's gonna last I'm not gonna complain about it just going to enjoy it uh, it does mean though I've got my my mosquito net on my door so that I've got I've got my door nice. Well, I can actually open it a bit further. Might do that in a second. All right, hello, hello. So this weekend uh, on Saturday I attended an artist book fair, first time for me, and I've really had an amazing uh, and quite an inspiring time looking at some really beautiful pieces of artwork uh, in the book format. And so hello, if you met me at the Artist Book Fair in Newtown, welcome to my channel. It was lovely to meet you. Um, yeah, everybody I met was so friendly and lovely and just, you know, interested in arts and creating and all that kind of stuff. And even met somebody who used to do stamping up, but has kind of like changed hobbies, doesn't tend to do stamping anymore, but now does. Uh, she said she made felt plants yes that was it she makes she cuts out felt and makes and stitches and stuff like that so she's kind of like changed hobby uh but anyway that was fascinating anyway so it's inspired me a little bit to try and have a go at making my own book now <laughs> i know you guys have seen me making folio albums and books and so on um so oh good question kim so kim's asking in the live what is book art well it's kind of like an amalgamation of more art into what i've been sort of showing you guys over the last few months so perhaps less using pre-patterned papers but more creating either your own paper or using something like watercolor paper to put art onto and then making books out of those pieces of artwork and also incorporating some really interesting almost origami like folds so i met a really lovely girl um, from south wales who's um, makes some really beautiful sort of fold out fold the outy stuff um, and i will try and if i don't do it today but i will at some point share her insta with you because um I've, i'm gonna try and encourage her to go on instagram a little bit more and use social media to advertise what she does and also i was actually trying to encourage her to do some workshops so watch out because I'm, I'm hoping she's going to do some zoom workshops that we can all join in with right um oh and there was also uh, an organization there that, like a, an artist book club that meet so they get together just to talk about tips and techniques and um, so and share what they've done uh, in the area not not so close to me but if I drove I could probably get there um, there was a lady who was interested in the stamp stamp and emboss machine to emboss and sort of indent paper so she was quite fascinated by my little mini cut and emboss machine I took and she now i will tell you about her one of her books that she had was made from perspex two pieces of perspex made one page and sandwiched in between this clear perspex was like skeleton leaves skeleton flowers skeleton um like seed heads flat seed heads so it was this beautiful see-through book but with like yeah skeleton so if you don't know what so skeleton leaves are what happens when you leave quite a, a, a heavy veined leaf or flower out in the sun uh, sorry in the rain and basically all the fleshy part of the flower or the leaf disappears and you're left with these brown skeletons so um that was really cool right i can just see there's loads of people um in the chat now so hi everybody great to see you all um let me get my desk view up and running so my plan for this evening is to make a little mini book from a sheet of very vanilla cardstock and i'm gonna color it in kit and stamp on it maybe write on it as well as a little book to give to my son who's going to university and um i'm gonna make a little little um cover for it with some music 
that now that is the, probably hopefully the only bit of stamped paper I'm going uh, sorry printed paper I'm going to use the rest of it I'm going to stamp myself so um let's get down to it so hello everybody on the live great to have your company um were there any other questions all right so if you do have any questions if i don't notice the question please shout so in in social media world uh, writing in capital letters is regarded as shouting so um, if you want to grab my attention just shout or if you can tell one of the mods like if like Glenn is in here Vicky's in here and they can actually private message me and I'll get a notification on my phone on my watch so um, it's not that I'm ignoring anybody I don't ever deliberately ignore somebody unless they're being a bit rude um, <laughs> <laughs> um so so yeah so if i do miss questions please if you're watching on the live just get glenna's or vicky or whoever whoever one of the mods are so they're in their their uh, names are like in blue or have a spanner next to them or something all right so you let's get this going i'm just gonna open my door a little wee bit more i don't think the bugs are coming in because i've got my lovely net up so um oh. all right so i have grabbed some stamps because i'd like to put some words after i've kind of done my stamp one sheet wonder i want to put some words on here and what i'd like to do first is just get some color down and i might use a combination of different greens and and I think what also inspired me about the weekend was I then looked up some videos on online of other people who've done artist books and I love the way that there's one video I came across and a lady just made lo lots of like brush implements from twigs and string and things like that so it's kind of making me think more about how can I use what I have on my desk so I'm looking at so that's the I know that's the embossing powder brush but I, and I have used it for painting before but I could use that uh, things like using like the tips of things to scrape and and do stuff so you know this might be a bit of an experimental day today so I'm going to get a couple of um reinkers out because I may use those in a minute just to have a little play um, might even get a bit of a spritzer out might make a bit of a mess today not that I'm intending to make too much of a mess but um right have I got any I don't think I've got any water anywhere got a little bit but it's kind of pinky colored oh well I'm just gonna put a little bit of ink on there so that's a bit of lemon lime twist and I'm gonna put a bit of granny apple green I'm going to see what it's like just painting that neat onto my onto my no, I think I need a bit of water. Let's see if I've got any. Oh, ooh, look, I've got a little bit of water in here. Oh, actually, I've got my water brush. That might just be easier if I just use my water brush. Let's squeeze some water out of this. Come on. <coughs> Goodness me, who'd have thought it would be so hard to do that? okay that's a bit of granny apple green in there oh yeah okay i like that so i'm just going to do some mark making oh it looks like i used this for blue before but never mind so i'm just gonna brush some strokes onto my this is just very vanilla thin card because I didn't want to go too thick because I'm going to be cutting and folding this up later so 
Oh, that's a bit too watery. I didn't want it so watery. I, I, I actually like seeing these sort of brush marks. So I'm doing a bit of cross hatching here where you, you go in one direction and then you go in the other direction. I'm just going to make some more funky marks, like so. Okay. Oh, hello to a new person. Sorry, I'm just trying to see the name. Um... Hi Deb Fitzgerald. Hi Geertree. Oh my goodness, I'm so I'm not even gonna try and say your name. You're gonna have to send me a message and say it out loud. Unless Martina knows how to say your name. But anyway, you are most welcome, even though I can't pronounce your name. Alright, now I want a bit more water on here because I think I might just do some some splashes oh, I'm squeezing really hard oh there we go right I think also I might just put a little bit of I put a little bit of that as your afternoon in there just dropped it on oh I know what let's put this light on Okay, let's do a bit of dotage. I know, dotage this early on in a video, amazing. Glenda, don't fall off your perch. Oh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> uh, I didn't really prepare my desk for this, but mind I'm just going to do some other marks on here and I'm just going to get the my, um, this is what I use for smearing the texture paste around the place. And I'm just going to see what, what happens when I... It doesn't... Oh! Tell you what I have got. Oh! Although I don't know how I'm going to make it take up the ink. Um, I've got this beautiful pen that Martina gave me. I put it did I put it somewhere so safe that I'm not gonna be able to find it right now oh, I think I did it's in this beautiful box oh well Martina I'll have to use that another day but anyway I'm gonna use my blending brush and I'm just dipping it into the um, the mixture here and I'm holding it right on my tip and just doing kind of like scribbly marks across the page And in, if you've ever done art lessons or been, you know, been to art school or anything, there's a big focus on what's called mark making, where you just make marks and just enjoy the process of moving your, whatever it is that's 
getting the ink, you know, a pen, a stick, whatever, across the page. I, I'm a bit too impatient to do it with the just that because it doesn't actually hold a lot of... You see how it doesn't really hold a lot? And so I'm a bit impatient. I mean, it makes nice marks because it's almost italicised because it's, it's kind of flat, but I was getting a bit impatient. Actually, I might just do some lines. I fancied also doing some little like things that actually look like things. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, actual shapes that look like a shape. So I don't know whether to sort of... Um, I wanted to maybe do some little leaves or something. Ooh. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, sorry, that's really tiny. So I'm using my brush, the sorry, my blender pen. And I'm just making V's with my brush like that. So I'm doing two V's and then a one in the middle. To make some leaves. One there, like that. Squeaky, squeaky. I think I might need a bit more ink. See? Hello, Heather! Right, so those of you who joined expecting a bit more stamping, um, it's on its way. I'm going to do some stamping in a second. I'm just putting some marks down. Okay. Right. I've got a little bit of ink left on here, so I'm just going to smear that. Smear that on. There we go. Well, it's not what not, eh? some left on my pen as well so I'm just gonna use it up so these pens have got a little bit of liquid already inside them which makes them really good for picking up color all right so we've got a little bit of a nice mess happening there and so I wanted to use some of these sort of more textural stamps to put different things on here. Right, what colour shall I go for? Um, oh. I fancy a bit of copper clay. Hi, Susan. So for those of you just joining, I'm experimenting with mark making on a piece of very vanilla Stampin' Up! Very Vanilla card. And the reason where I always tend to return to Stampin' Up! card is because of how fine the... Um, I was going to say how fine the weave is. It's not really. It's not weave at all. It's the pulp. that they, they seem to just make a very fine paper. So whenever, particularly when you're stamping on it, it just... Yeah, it, it, you don't have hardly any bleed. Now, obviously there is bleed with some of the marks I've made because I used a lot of water, but the inks are formulated in such a way that um, it's the perfect consistency. So, right, so usually I would put this onto a block, but because I just want little elements of the map stamped, I'm not, not too worried about putting it on a block and um, 
just ink up a bit more of that. And I'm kind of just using it on my hands because it, the technology that makes that sticky kind of is enough to kind of stick it to my fingers. So it's not going to be obvious that it's a map. I just want some kind of blobs on there. If I wanted it more obvious, I'd have used a darker colour. I just wanted some shape, shapes on there. All right. Then the other stamps that I got out was this one, Season of Chic. Because I like some of this kind of distressed look image. And I think I might use the copper clay again. But I think I might just stamp it off. I don't want it really full strength. Um, oh, oh, congratulations, Anne. Anne's become a member of the Stampin' Up! family. Well, oh, you and uh, Heather got Heather got her parcel today, so that's brilliant, Anne. What did you order in your starter kit? All right, so you may be wondering why is Ruth chosen to stamp the copper clay near the other copper clay, and that was because I I actually wanted to sort of I just fancied grouping that colour together rather than having it just sort of sporadic all over the place um, sometimes it is nice to have concentrations of certain colour so that it's really you know you get that intense intensity Okay, I think I'll stop there with that one. Um, there are also some really fun dashes. So if you're if you're a bit kind of reluctant to have a go at the mark making, there is this stamp in here which kind of mimics that look. So if you're not, if you don't feel very kind of like at liberty to just like free for, free form it, just use this stamp and um, look. Can you see how it's already got those really cool kind of like marks in there? So Stampin' Up obviously do think out how they design their stamp sets and probably do look at art, artists and what they're doing and so you know there'll be things that reflect what artists will be doing and this is why I love stamping as an introductory craft to people or people who don't feel like they're artistic because the 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 sort of the intense artwork is already done by the artists that stamp it up all you need to do is basically choose what you want to use and the and the colors that you want to do it in and it doesn't make you um any less of an artist it just means that you're using what someone else has done to have a go and then as you progress you may decide well i might want to have a go drawing something myself or i'm just going to carry on using stamps and use stamps to express myself so um obviously we're very grateful for the artists that stamping up to create these things but um I, I just think it's a really good great way in to art right um is there anything else i wanted to stamp oh yeah so there were some words and also oh no maybe just that for now Right, so I used the, what did I use, the Azure ink earlier, but because I watered it down, you can see that it doesn't look like the Azure Afternoon anymore. So I'm going to go with Lost Lagoon. And again, I'm not necessarily going to ink up everything. I just want little, kind of little bits of this. 
don't feel I need lots of it. So hi to everyone who's joining the live. Sorry, I haven't been looking up very often to see who's joining, but hello, hello, wherever you are. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there because there's still a bit more of the process to go yet. And... Uh, so what I'm going to do now is use my, um, I think I'm actually get my score tool out, my scoreboard rather. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is actually cut this down to eight by... Um, two, four, eight by ten, maybe. So my book is going to be two by four, uh, two by two by four, I think. Yeah. So I can always use this for the front cover, so don't worry, I'm not going to lose too much of this. So what I'm now going to do is score at every two inches, two, four. Six, eight, and then I'm going to turn it around and screw at four. Um, then bring my trimmer back in. And I'm going to put this in the trimmer at four inches. And then I'm not going to cut that first two inches. I'm going to skip that and just cut all the way down. And then what I'm going to do is going to fold this like so, and then I'm going to fold this backwards and forwards. And turn it over, and then fold this backwards and forwards. And of course, I can't find my bone folder. I had it. I had it on Saturday. Oh well. Just 
Okay, so that's made my book. Now I've just realised that some of these words are now upside down. So I'm going to have to stamp some the right way up, aren't I? And then stamp some the, the opposite way around. There we go. That's equalised it now, hasn't it? Oh, thank you, Vicky. Okay. Now I've got to think, how am I going to do the cover? So I was planning to you to wrap some card around. I guess I could just oh no I couldn't hold on give me a minute I need a drink I need a minute I need a minute I need to think right I did want a cover on this I really did so let me just have a think how I'm going to achieve that. I think I'm going to have to stick something on the in, in there and fold fo that folds outwards. I'm going to go through my scraps. I've got some scraps of stuff. Oh! Oh, that might do. stuff down right so I need to pop something in there that then folds back ooh I've got this I've got this I think I've got it anyway so Oh, well, maybe I need a bit bigger. Oh, just thought. Oh, bear with. Bear with, bear with. Just realised I had a whole box full of, like, stuff that I've done in the past that I've not ended up using for anything. There is bound to be something in here that I can use. these go back away be nice let's let's take those bits out all right so first of all I want to make my um, panel that's going to make my book cover so that's got to wrap around 
there and let's see how much that measures. So either three sixteenths or half a centimetre. So that measures two. So if I do that two and a quarter by four and a quarter, I know if I measure if I cut that down to four and a quarter first. Right, we'll score at two and a quarter, then move it up to three sixteenths. Oh, you know what, I'm just going to give it a quarter because by the time I've lined it, it's going to be bigger than that. So another quarter, and then I need to do another quarter plus two. So that will take us to four and three quarters. Through my little book cover. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, right now, and then I need to cut a piece to that will slip inside here, fold back, and be the liner for that section there. So that's what I wanted um, these little these panels for. So this needs to measure. Uh, Four inches. Let's see how much we've got here in the width. Oh, just under four. Um, so if I score at half, no. Oh, I need to use all of that then. I'll use the other panel in a second. Right, so I need to score at two and cut it at maybe three, two and a half. Right, so that's for the front page. This will be for the back page. So again, cut at four. This time I'm going to do it upside down because this is for the back page. So score two, cut at two and a half. It will all make sense in a moment, everybody. I, I know what's going on in my head. Right, so then I wanted to cover it with this um, music paper because my son plays the piano. So I basically just need to cut a piece that's a little bit bigger than, than what we've got here. So this measures four and a quarter by just under five. So if I cut this at six inches. Whew, right, getting there, getting there. Right, I'm looking up now. Let's have a look at any questions. Um, Oh, hi, Shaz Connabeer. I've seen your nails. They look amazing. Mm. Right, where's Melissa's? Uh, make a spine by gluing a piece that tucks behind the front and back pieces and glue the spine to inside your cover. That's what I'm doing. I think that's what I'm doing anyway. Yeah, I think that's what's happening here. Um, I think what I might do is I'm going to glue this down. Now, last time I did this, I glued then folded and I ended up splitting the, the outside paper so this time I'm going to glue partially glue 
I'm, I'm gluing one side first. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to fold the paper with it. Then glue that. Then I'm going to fold that there. And then stick this down. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, so that's so that's stopping it splitting. That's really good. Then I'm going to fold these in. Oh, no. Fold nicely. Come on. Behave yourself. Fold this in. I'm really pulling, pulling that nice and tight. So my son is going to off to study education and so if anyone's got any quotes about education that would be great. Uh, he's also a Christian and so I'm wondering whether that Bible verse that talks about training up a child in the way it should go, I could write that in there. Um, also I could maybe write something in Welsh like family, like the word family. Um, I don't know what else. Any got, anyone got any suggestions? Any Welsh speakers on here? My daughter's just bought herself a nice old piano from a charity shop for ten pounds. That's amazing. Hi, Valerie. <gasps> You're in Ireland. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm stretching out my hand to reach you across the waves. That's so cool. Can you hop over to, to Wales? Hi Janice. Oh, I need to announce another class on the 21st of um, this month. <laughs> We're now in September. I can't believe it. Happy September, everybody. Um, I'm doing a third textured floral class. So that'll be the second one I'll be teaching that week. <laughs> so I have three people booked on it. So I could really do with organising a few more people in there. All right, I've got to make sure I get the piano notes the right way up. All right. So the idea was then that this is going to get stuck. Get this the right way around. Yeah, hold on. That's going to get stuck into there. That's it. And that one's going to go into there. Hi Jenny! That one's going to get stuck into there. And yeah, you're right, whoever, oh, Melissa, wasn't it? You were suggesting that I stick, that I put glue along the spine as well, 
which I could do. Now the only thing I'm slightly regretting is not making the inner book cover book you know this bit a little bit bigger I could have done it a bit bigger but fortunately I've put enough paper so it, it it covers it right I'm just going to trim that off there and there Taylor do you yes I thought Taylor would be nice Right, I need that um, Bible verse as well. So before I stick it all together, I'm going to write in here. Um, actually, the Stampin' Up markers are nice because they, the colours will go. Oh, I don't have some of the newer colours. Right. Oh, and there were some words like um, adventure and I don't know. Oh, live, laugh, love, live, love, live, laugh, love. How's it go? Live, laugh, one of those. But every behind every child who believes in themselves is a teacher who believed in them first. That's lovely. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to write that in. Behind every child. Every child. Who believes in themselves? So, so, is a teacher? Is a teacher? Oh, I like that. Oh. Mm -mm. Um, I could do um, something like love God, love each other, uh, love, love one another, love God, love one another. Um, The, the tip is not as good as it used to be. Oh, that worked really well. Oh, I did a little cross on the T as well. Yeah, I like that. Um, right. What about oh, Frindi? Is it Frindi? It's friend, isn't it? I could do Frindi at Haley. Let's go to Google Translate. <laughs> Uh, translate. Um, and English to Welsh. Right, friend. 
ones and frenzy eye and tidy right Oops, spelt it wrong already. You know what? I'll just do it in English. I'll put it somewhere else. Oh, two Fs. Oops, I've got the two Fs. Friend. Friend, yeah. Uh, T. Right. You guys got any other suggestions for me? Um... <laughs> Right, I need that Bible verse to do with um Oh Oh Glenda says that I'm freezing. Oh no it should be alright now. Sorry if I'm freezing everybody. Um I don't I don't know why. No idea. Kids went back to school today, so hopefully they should be in bed by now. Oh, there we go. Found it. Train up a child in the way she, he, in the way, train up a child in the way he should go, even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Trying to see if I've got space for it. Okay, right, anything else? I think I might just draw across here. Any other suggestions? Strength, love and laughter. Crifta cariadach then. Crif. Crif.
بیاد Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. I always get paranoid that I'm going to spell shepherd wrong because <laughs> in my head I go shepherd and I think I've got to write it wrong. No, I don't. What was the other one? Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his friends continually. Oh, that's nice. I wonder if I could write that. I'm going to do it like a cross. Thank you, Vicky. One Chronicles. I might have to go over that one in a darker pen, I think. Because um, it ran into that one a bit. Got messy meadow. No cooking tails today. Well, um, what did I make? I've been still trying to perfect my chicken... Um, my sort of kebab style chicken so I deliberately bought some Greek yogurt well not just natural yogurt not Greek yogurt just natural yogurt and I was really surprised how cheap it is and because I bought a 300 gram tub I only used 150 for the chicken so the chicken I marinated some chicken, boneless chicken thighs, which I find fairly good value for money, considering how much meat you get. And I actually prefer the chicken thigh meat. So I marinated that in the 150 grams of the yogurt, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of cumin, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, some lemon juice, and then salt and pepper. And then just marinated that for as long as I could. And then popped it in the oven. And I think I slightly overcooked it, but it was still tasty. I just chopped it up into bits and had it with rice. 
and solid. It tastes good. All right. Um, the Lord shines through you. That's nice. Mega put may the Lord shine through you or something. I was trying to make it look like sun rays. <laughs> That's my little sun. Oh, and then the rest with the rest of the yogurt, I've still got half of it left. I made some banana cake. So instead of adding milk to the cake, I've just had yogurt. And that was a super easy recipe. Also, it was using oil, not butter. So it's really easy to mix together. So spicy casserole of chicken thighs and pork sausage in a slow cooker. I think it will last all week. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So I'm going to stick that to the inside of that. I'm just thinking before I um, stick it all together, I'm wondering whether to put some sort of ribbon tie on here. look at that in a second oh thank you Glenna Grilled peri peri chicken for dinner. Ooh, yum. Did you eat out, Valerie? Are you visiting family or you're on holiday? Right, I'm just going to stick some of these. I think I'll stick some of these together. Ooh, getting all the spider tips today. Ooh, Melissa, I don't think I have to stick the spine in. And I don't think I will because... Um, I haven't done the measurements exactly perfectly right so what I'm going to do is instead is I am going to stick 
this together well instead. Right, so I was talking about whether or not I want a fastener. So I could, before I stick the um, inner pages together, I could punch a hole here to create um, and, and put some string through so it can be fastened. Also, it means that theoretically it could also be opened and tied so that it can be displayed, but I don't know. Well, I mean, it could probably be displayed like that anyway. Right, let me get my needle. And some twine. I'll just go with a natural looking one. You went to Kilkenny, Wixlow Mountains and Glendalough. Oh, so we go to Blarney Castle. Oh my goodness. You're keeping busy, Valerie. Thank you, Heather. Okay, thanks, Melissa. I know I'm... I'm deferring to you because I know that you've been getting into bookmaking recently as well, haven't you? Sorry, I've I've discovered if I get, haven't got the right glasses with me, if I just get another pair of old glasses and just stick them in front of the glasses I'm wearing, it really helps. You do not want to see what my face looks like right now with my two pairs of glasses on. But I can see, I can see to thread a needle, which is all that matters. Oh, see you, Aunt. Oh, now about the Thursday work, the tw Thursday the 21st textured floral class, I am possibly going to schedule that for 8 o'clock my time because um, somebody in the South Pacific was showing interest in coming along to that and it just means that it's then not so early for them. However... Um, it st still may be too early for that. So, right, I think I definitely want to just miss. What are you doing? Ruth, concentrate, woman. Right. There we go. Right, I'm just going to tie a, a knot, but I'm going to put this through two or three times so that it um, may have already done three, I think. So it makes a big knot. And I will probably tape that down also. up with Janice if you go to Edinburgh
Oop, made a bit of a bodge of that one, but there we go. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Just a tiny one. Put a bit of tape on there. Okay, needle off. Put it away. We're nearly there, people. Nearly there. Make sure I've got this the right way up. So I've got to line that up with that spine there. I'm being a bit more careful with the glue here. Make sure it goes everywhere. Oh, it's getting warm in here. Oh, next year, Valerie. Oh, lovely. Done it upside down then. Okay, right. I know. Let me clear my desk and then I'll do a a walk through. Well, thank you everybody. One hour, 15 minutes. That's not too bad to make a gift for somebody. A very personalised, special gift. So, oh, I could, I could go and see if I've got some sort of trinket that I could tie to the, to the outside. Okay. So very simple, quite masculine. Hi Anne, I'm just running through what I've made. So I've made a little artist book, basically. And so we're going to open it up. Oh, oh, hold on a sec, hold on a second. Before I do that, I've just remembered. Well, what about if I just do that down the spine? Yes. Right, let me do that. Sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. And then also I've got little bits of this that I could stick inside. No, I won't do that. Right, let's just do this bit. Because I said I'd use some of this, didn't I?
Ah, <laughs> does she now? Hi, Hatashana. Giving it a good rub. So I'm, I'm hoping to hold it next to me to really get some pressure on there. Oh, I could write his name on there as well. Good night. Could make one every year for him, couldn't I? Every year that he <laughs> he's at uni, could get a different one. Right there we go. Right, let's do the let's do the walkthrough then. Ties up. Get out of the way. So that's the outside. And spine. The back. And open it up. That's the inside. I might add some more words to this. But I love how when you just do a stamped, you know, you just do art on a page, you've got no control really how it's going to end up in the sheets. But um, it's nice not to plan it too much and just see what happens. So there we go. nice little book that you can you can sort of put it on your desk it sits really lovely you know just sort of sits open it's a nice thing to look at it's a little bit tight there but There we go. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, it's similar to one that I made with a 12 by 12, but that one had more sheets in it. You could make small paper bead ties. Ooh. I did have a long strip that I cut off, didn't I? Oh, there's one. Getting it start. Oh, I, I have got a quilling tool somewhere. I'll just do two. So if I just cut that in half. It's worth getting it started so that the paper knows where it want, you want it to go. Spread some glue out across here. But really do spread it because 
otherwise it will spread when you don't want it to spread so if you spread it first it will. that's kind of better Come on. Good. <laughs> right. It's kind of it's wanting to uncurl though. I'll put some fresh glue. Fresh glue there. Spread it around. Thank you, Mary Beth. Right, there we go. Making sure that's really stuck. See, blood, sweat and spit's going into this. <laughs> Just got to make a big enough knot for it to hold. I could pop a bead on the end, but... If I just keep tying a knot, it might work. Oh, no. Oh, take care, Shaz. Take care, Valerie. Rest well. Have a fabulous day tomorrow. Oh, just remember tomorrow we're supposed to be going... Me and I are supposed to be going to a... It's called a not back to school picnic. It's a meeting of home ed families. kind of forgotten about it okay come on come on No, don't undo. <laughs> I think definitely a quilling tool is the way to go with this. Come on. Come on. Got a bit too much on there now. Okay, did it. Am I free Thursday? Uh, Thursday afternoon, I think, Jen. I mean, you're welcome to come in the morning, but um, May's got craft from 11 till 1. Before you're all going away, might I remind you to rise your thumbs? <laughs> Thanks, Martina. It's always these little details at the end that seem to take up a few extra minutes. 
So I kind of go, I gloat, you know, oh, this clut, this only takes an hour to do. But then if you want to add all the extra little twiddles, it's more like an hour and a half. Hi, hi, Joanna. Oh, sticky fingers. Right. There we go. Cut the spit off. There you have it. Little dingle dangles. Got to have the dingle dangles. Great idea. Thanks for that, Glenna. Joanna, you missed it. You missed what, me making this. There we go. This might make a good class. Let me know if you're interested, if you want me to do a class on this. Lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, dotage went on right early at the beginning. <laughs> Miss dotage, queen of dotage, yes. She's dotty in her dotage. <laughs> right, I'm off. Lovely to see you all. Take care, everyone. Rest well and uh or well if you're in the uk or europe uh but uh have a great day and uh hopefully i'll be back again tomorrow i was thinking a class on how to make yes vicky you well you could teach a class on this you, you'd know how to do this yes with a slow motion fold says mindy a slow motion fold what's a slow motion fold I'll have to remember to do the whole thing about not going up, to do one one way and one upside down if you're going to do the text. <laughs> Take care. Rest well. Oh, how to fold it. Oh, for sure. Yes, Mindy. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So how to put it together. Yes of course yeah it's it's basically concertinas and then flop it over but yeah no that's fine i'll show you how to do that right lots of love everyone yes uh, so some people are joining me for a class crescents and lines class tomorrow at 7 p.m my time i actually have a couple of spaces on it if let me oh Where's my diary? I haven't got it here. But I have got a couple of spaces. If anyone's still interested in joining me for that one, you basically need some florals, some leaves, and some maybe some textures if you want to do that class. Okay? And some cardstock and ink. But anyway, email me, ruthtrice at gmail.com. There's time to get on it still if you want to. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.